Hi everyone, welcome to GA Online Teaching. Today we are going to continue with the domain and range of functions and we are going to be busy with the hyperbola as well as the exponential functions. I'm not going to go into much detail because that will be done by your teacher. So, I have a hyperbola graph over here. It's obviously positive. Positive is in the first and in the third quadrant over there. We're going to look at the domain and the range. Now, Domain is x is an element of the real numbers, but I have a restriction. Now, a restriction basically is where my graph will not touch. In other words, my asymptote. So, no matter how far I go down over here, this or up, my graph will never ever touch my y-axis over there. So, what's the value of that y-axis? Anyway, if this is, for example, uh, let's say positive 10, what's the actual point? The point is 0 and 10. If it's negative 100, it will be 0 and negative 100, which means my graph is never ever going to touch where x would be equal to 0. That is my restriction. Okay, let's go through y is an element of real numbers and the restriction over here is the graph or y will never ever touch my asymptote line over here whatever my asymptote line is my graph will never touch it so y is not equal to my asymptote in this case my asymptote is positive 2. If it was negative 2, it will not equal to negative 2. If it was positive 10, it will not be equal to positive 10 and you get the picture. Okay. In this example, I have an exponential graph. Y is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 1. Okay. What's my asymptote? Over there, it is positive 1. Let's go through the domain. The domain of this graph is x is an element of... Sorry is an element of real numbers. There would be no restriction on my x because it goes to infinity to the right and it goes to infinity to the, to the left. Now, the restriction comes with my asymptote. Don't ever forget that. So, y is an element of real numbers, but the restriction is, will my graph ever touch my asymptote? No. Will it go below it? No which means it can only go above. And what is that value over there? The value is one. So y must always be above the value of my asymptote. If this value was 10, then this number would be equal to 10 over there. With that being said, I did not go into much detail because I assume your teacher went over that with you. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Leave a comment below. Share this video with as much people as possible. And until next time, thank you very much.